Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Shubhashish Singh Rehal and you are watching IES Primers. In this video, we are going to talk about a very very important topic that is critical against the fight on coronavirus. When we talk about the various strategies, we are talking about the vaccination coverage, we are talking about contact tracing. These two are very critical. The countries that have done better than India are the countries which have a better program of vaccination as well as contact tracing. But we often ignore the third thing that is that these countries also invested heavily in genome sequencing. Now this comes to the thing what is genome sequencing? But before that we need to know what is a genome? Genome is the genetic material that is prevalent in all living beings including the virus. So this virus has something known as a genome. This genome is like a list of instructions. You know it defines the natural attributes of this virus. Now this genome keeps mutating. It keeps changing as a part of evolution. So it is a natural process. You know, it is natural for the genome to change and there would be various mutants or mutations. So we have heard about some of them like Delta, Delta variant, Kappa variant, Alpha variant. Sometimes we associate with the country of origin as well. Now it is important to understand how these va different variants or mutants affect the patient that is suffering from the coronavirus. Hence, it is important to focus on genome sequencing. Now, the significance of genome sequencing point by point. First, the genome sequencing helps us in identifying the various variants. Now, there may be different variants. There may be number of variants. But not all variants are a matter of concern or in other words, a variant of concern, VOC. A variant of concern is that virus. It is that variant which is more virulent as compared to the earlier strain. So we need to identify that particular variant which is of concern. Next, we need to know about the transmissibility of the virus. You know, how to what level that virus can spread amongst the people. And even more important, how does it react or respond to the immune system of the body? Some of the variants are able to penetrate the immune system better than the other variants. It is believed that Delta variant in particular, you know, this variant Delta variant is very, very effective in immune escape. So it is even effective when it comes to the uh, post vaccination. So it is able to cause uh, uh, infections even after the vaccination. In fact, it was this variant which we saw in the second wave. This was the most prevalent one. And lastly, what is the potential of this variant to cause a severe disease, a disease that may cause hospitalization? So we need to identify that and how will we identify by the process of genome sequencing. So genome sequencing, you know, as I said, all living beings have a genome. So all cells actually, all cells over here have a nucleus. Nucleus is like a brain. So it, this nucleus has the genetic material, which we are calling it as genome. So this nucleus has something known as a chromosome. Chromosome and from this chromosome we get the DNA. In case of the virus we get the RNA. This is an RNA based virus. Now this DNA as you can see over here it is a double helical strand. Right you can see the shape over here. So it's like a double helical strand and if we straighten it we'll get something like a ladder will get something like a ladder over here and you would see that there are some things that are connecting one and other. This is the code that we are talking about. So 
this sequence you know the sequence of the connectors over here these are the various bases which are connected so it determines genome sequencing determines the order of the four bases and these are adenine guanine cytosine and thymine so these are the four bases identified by the initials so a g c t now when it comes to the virus we know that it is the rna based virus so the genome sequencing is for both the dna as well as the rna now this is how the dna looks like it is a double helical strand and this is how the rna looks like you know there is no double over here it's the ribonucleic acid rna now coming to what is a genome it is the complete genetic material of an organisms and it is like an instruction manual which contains information about the makeup of the organisms now human genomes are made of dna while the virus genome the genome of the virus may be of both the dna as well as the rna now in the case of covid covid 19 this is a rna based virus so there is no double helical over here it's a single helical and here you can see it so dna and rna both provide genetic instructions for growth and functioning of the organisms and corona virus is made of rna now coming to the efforts taken by india specifically when we talk about the covid 19 so these are the information that i gathered from the pib you know it is the uh, information released by the government itself so first it said that there is a pan india genome sequence so pan india genome sequencing initiative was launched so this is the first one and according to this you know the, uh, this there were various collection centers Uh, comprising of the institutes of uh, department of biotechnology again a government institution icmr csir and other state and national institutes with sequenced more than 6000 sequences a very important number i'll tell you why 6000 sequences then apart from that you know when the uk strain was in news uk strain when uh, first time it was known that there is a different strain for virus uh, corona virus so uk strain in early 2020 then the government realized that they need to aggregate they need to collate all the institutions that are working on genome sequencing so as a result an insacog or indian sars corona virus 2 consortium on genome sequencing was formed so it is basically 10 indian agencies that work collectively on genome sequencing and this has collected samples from different states and identified the presence of variants of concerns and also new variants the variants of concern over here is particularly delta variant so it identified it and it tested it against the various vaccines you know how how these uh, Uh, respond to the various vaccines over here now coming to the critical assessment naturally it's quite obvious actually that genome sequencing has been quite short when it comes to india now the initial target that was set was to cover at least 5% of confirmed cases you know people who have been tested with positive so of this 5% were to be covered but we have covered less than 1% in fact it is quite obvious when when the government itself says that it has sequenced around 6000 sequences so around 6000 is nowhere near the amount of infections that are taking place even in one day so pace at which the data is the other thing is that the pace at which the data is shared this is also a matter of concern so one we are talking about low testing or low genome sequencing and once the information is revealed then the transmission of this information from the government that is also very very slow so first time when there was this information of different variants in the country the government took 2 weeks 
Now this is very critical. The two weeks time is critical when we talk about the severity of this uh, second wave. And one more thing I want to add actually over here. One more thing. Uh, as a push to Atmanirbhar Bharat, as a push to Atmanirbhar Bharat or Make in India, the government, you know, to promote it with a good intention, it, it, uh, it told the institutions to encourage domestic manufacturing. As a result, some restrictions were imposed on the laboratories in sourcing materials or importing from the other countries. This includes the high level machines that are required for genomic sequencing, the co quality of regents, you know regents are the chemicals that are required for uh, collecting the sample or testing activity and the even the plastic containers. So all of it was stalled initially when the ruling of Atmanirbhar was announced and eventually it was eased for genomic sequencing. But this delayed the process. Now coming to the measures or the steps, uh, you know, that the government can take. One, it is natural that they need to scale up the genome sequencing that too across all the states. And for this, naturally, funding has to be provided and even import relaxation. It is not possible, you know, to just manufacturing it in India. So excess things that are there available in the world, that need can, that can be sourced. Secondly, more investment and support is needed for scientific and operational research on vaccine effectiveness. So one, we need to track the variants by genomic sequencing. Other, we need to study the vaccine effectiveness vis-a-vis -vis the various variants. And lastly, when we get all this data, we need to engage epide uh, epidemiologists in coming up with practical and operational strategies. So we need to engage with the doctors, you know, once the data is available, that what strategy needs to be adopted. And this has to be decentralized. It cannot be everything from the top. It has to be at the lower levels because that will provide them with the operational freedom. Now you can imagine, let's say we were talking about the Delta variant. So when we talked about Delta variant, we saw that there was high post vaccine infection, right? So can we do one thing over here that we can have two doses of vaccination? Let's say for COVID shield, the gap is three months. So can we have it closer together? Can we reduce the timeline? So such decisions can be done better by the doctors or the scientific community. And in fact, also what line of treatment or medicines, drugs, etc. can be given for specific variants. So when there is more data with respect to genomic sequencing, we'll know better lines of treatment. So this will be available and possible. So this is all we have in this video. Thank you for streaming into IS Primers. Once again, you're watching this video with Shubhashish Tengrehal. All the best for your preparation. Bye-bye. Take care.